Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sherina Wahid with the top news of the day. Today is the holy day of Hajj. Attendance at the Arafat Maidan is the main formality of this day. The ground is shaken by the sounds of Labbaik, Allahumma Labbaik, as the pilgrims bid farewell to the Hajj. After spending the night in Muzdalifa, pilgrims who will return to Mina on Tuesday, about 60,000 Saudi residents took part in the Hajj after being vaccinated and following hygiene rules. Meanwhile, the Holy Idul Azha will be celebrated tomorrow in different countries of the world, including Saudi Arabia and Europe. Although Eid was officially declared on July 21st in Bangladesh, many people celebrate Eid in different districts of the country in the line with Saudi Arabia. On the top of corona infections and congested buses, extra traffic jam has added to the list during the Eid journey. Most of the buses were seen moving on the road, breaking the rules, putting passengers at risk. This is the situation with trains, launches and ferries as well. Many also miss their plane due to unusual traffic. Experts believe that if the movement of the people and public transport is not monitored, the corona epidemic will take a more terrible form in the country. BNP chairperson Kaldazia has received the COVID vaccine. She took the Moderna vaccine at the National Gastro Liver Institute and Hospital in Mahakal around 4 p.m. Kaldazia has been attacked by corona. She was hospitalized with corona on June 19. She returned home from the hospital. Sacrificial animal markets have sprung up all over the country, including the capital. Sales at cattle markets in the capital have started well, but sellers say prices are too high. There is a mixed reaction to the price of cattle. The two city corporations of Dhaka has been various measures, including the management of mobile courts to ensure hygiene. Tenants are fined Taka 10 lakh for not following the hygiene rules at Gaptuli Poshurhat. Several thousands cleaners have been prepared to remove the waste within 24 hours of the animal sacrifice. Strict lockdown will be observed from 8 a.m. on Friday, 23rd July to 5th August after the Holy Idul Azha holiday. State Minister for the Public Administration, Farhad Hussain, has earlier instructed to close all types of industries, including garments. The 14-day lockdown that is coming after Eid will be harshed. During the time, Dhaka will be completely isolated from the rest of the country. Meanwhile, the Cabinet Division has directed the government employees to perform their duties at the field level from their respective workplaces, even if the office is closed after Eid. That is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News 24. Please stay with us.